Greetings Slackers, it's September Man here with another video and today I'm going to be talking about YouTube versus college and why YouTube is the clear winner. I don't know how many of you were paying attention to the economy or the effects of debt. Right now it seems like a lot of people are burdened with debt. This is having an impact on marriages, people starting families, people going out and buying cars, people going out and buying homes, and other areas of the economy that normally would not be affected if people had money. Now I'm gonna go into right now something that I've been thinking about because I went to school, I do have a college degree, and I was lucky enough to be able to go to college and come out and get a job making more than enough to pay back my student loan during the time but that was like damn near 20 years ago today that's just not the case so many people are overqualified because they do have degrees and they have all this debt but they cannot find a job in their field doing what it is that they went to school for and so when it comes to learning a lot of people have this handicap that well I can't learn unless I'm going to school. And this is the problem with the school system itself because learning can be done and it can take place anywhere. All it requires is one, being observant, following along, paying attention, asking questions. And in a school setting, you just get more of the sign up, this semester we'll be going over this, buy these books, and when I used to work at a for-profit college some years ago, one of the things that I became aware of was the whole book scheme. You know, a lot of people are in debt and their student loans is due to what? The cost of college textbooks that are outdated by the time you get them. Right now, if you wanna learn something, you can go on YouTube and you can learn more on YouTube in one week than you ever could in three months of college. So if you're someone who's new to this idea and you're listening, I want you to know that if you change your way of thinking around to where you see that, you know what, I don't need school in order to learn, you can go on YouTube and there's all kinds of forums, podcasts, lectures, and different speakers talking about in depth any number of issues that relate to what's going on right now in real time in the world. And so as someone who's a writer, video content producer, a lot of what I've learned, I've taken the time to watch a lot of YouTube videos and follow along to the point where, you know, I can work automatically without the need for being dependent on a reference. And I know if I can do it, you can do it too. Also, the cost of college is very expensive. A lot of people have these expensive degrees, and you know, we're talking about a degree that's the equivalent of a seven series BMW or a brand new house. This is just in student loans with none of neither the car or the home to show for. So when it comes to YouTube, again, you can pick up new skills a lot faster in a shorter period of time and these are new things, knowledge that you now have and know. A lot of people have the misconception that YouTube is just filled with cat videos and prank videos and stupid stuff like that, which of course YouTube steers you towards when you first sign up on the platform or even if you don't log in and create an account. The first thing that they show you is all this seems like, you know, petty, trivial uh, makeup tutorials and stuff like that. And I'm not trying to be disparaging of the people who make those tutorials but in what way is that going to help you out here with real life skills for instance if you want a job doing something wouldn't you like to know something about that job if you want to open yourself up to a new opportunity wouldn't you want to know something about that before you got your feet wet with college you don't really get to try out anything it's sort of like you started and most people are like you know what i'm going to finish this because I've already started. And look at how many people out here have degrees and they're not even working in the field that they gathered their degree in. So for me, again, 
YouTube is the real winner when it comes to YouTube versus college. In light of the for-profit college scam that's been going on out here putting people into debt, if you want to save money, skip college altogether, and for the same amount of time if you can, get you a part-time job if you're living at home, and make it part of your daily activity to, you know what, I'm going to learn something new today. Maybe you haven't found out what it is that you want to do, so you haven't found your purpose, but you have an idea of what it is. And so, again, you can come right here on YouTube and you can learn so much in a short period of time for relatively little cost when compared to the college system, parking permits, gas, wear and tear, travel to get there, and all that. But I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there. There's going to be a part two coming. Leave me your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below. And that's going to do it for this video. I'll catch you in the next one.